Hello everybody and welcome to In-Depth Isaac. This is a new little mini-series we're going to do where we look at in-depth stuff about the Binding of Isaac after Birth Plus and explain things that some people may not understand. Today we're looking at everybody's second favorite stat, the Tears stat. Many people think of the tier stat as, ooh, I'm firing faster, cool, but there's actually so much more to your tier stat and ways to manipulate it to gain the fastest tier rate in the game. We'll cover that later in this video. It should be noted that there will be some math in this video, as most things in games technically involve some form of math since computers are mathematical, fun fact. Suck it up, buttercup, math is fun. Let's hop right in. To start, we have to actually just straight up define what the tier stat is. The tier stat is defined as what determines the rate of fire of the character. This is also known as tier delay. Get amped for tier delay, you're going to hear that a ton in this video. This is a pretty straightforward idea. The higher the tier stat, the shorter the delay is between shots. This is what we mean by a tears up. Now you're probably initially thinking, Tyler, why do I need to know how all this crap works in depth? All I know is Squeezy gives me two hearts and a tears up. I see the number on missing HUD change from a 10 to a 7, and I'm happy and I move on. Well, Charlie, some people care about this specific tier, so let's go in depth about the math as well as see some background information about the characters in Isaac and their tier stats. Different characters in the game start with different initial total tier stats. Isaac, Maggie, Kane, Judas, Blue Baby, Eve, Lazarus, The Lost, Lilith, and Apollon all start with the initial total tier stat of zero. Bear with me, this will make sense shortly. Samson, for some odd reason, has a total tier stat that is just slightly worse at a negative 0.05. Azazel starts with Brimstone, so his tier stat is very low. I'm not going to bore you with the math here. And then Eden's total tier stat fluctuates due to the nature of Eden. You're probably thinking, Tyler, I still don't care. But behold, the tier delay equation. This is how to calculate what your tier stat is actually going to be. Now it does utilize the function that lower level math courses are not using, the floor function, but consider it to essentially be rounding down. When plugging in Isaac's initial tier stat of 0 into the equation, it'll give 16 minus 6 times the square root of 1, which is going to simply be 10. When you check in game, Isaac's tier stat is 10. Now say we picked up a tiers upgrade, let's say Torn Photo. Torn Photo gives a plus 0.7 tiers up. When we make Isaac's tier stat 0.7 now and plug it into the equation, we get approximately 7.70783502, which when rounding down, we get 7. We can check again in the game and boom, 7. Now that we know the math, it's important to note some differences in Isaac Tears items. There's items that add to your total Tears stat, then there's items that actually change what your tier delay is after the initial calculation done above. Let's do a comparison. Torn Photo, Squeezy, and Sad Onion, these are Tears Ups. They add to your Tears stat and these upgrades are used in the formula covered before. The Cancer Trinket, Capricorn, and Soy Milk, these are tier delay downs. They decrease your tier delay stat by a certain number after the calculation is complete. For example, the Cancer Trinket gives you a minus 2 tier delay. So if Isaac's initial starting tier delay stat is 10, then Cancer will bring it down to 8 because it applies the negative 2 after the calculation. This is hugely important to note because there are many items in the game that you think are affecting your total tier stat, but are really affecting your tier delay stat, positively and negatively. Items like Cancer, Capricorn, and Soy Milk, as listed above, will positively affect your tier delay by bringing it down. This means that you'll be firing a lot faster. Items like Polyphemus, Mutant Spider, Monstro's Lung, and Dr. Fetus are multiplying and adding to your tier delay. This means you'll be firing a lot slower. This also proves why it's so difficult to get a high rate of fire with those items. This is also a good time to note some other items in the game that you may not realize give you a tier delay down. Guillotine, everyone's least favorite orbital item. Mom's Perfume, no longer just a bad tier effect. Cricket's body, in case it couldn't get any better already. Anti-gravity, actually makes this crappy item worthwhile to take. At this point you're probably going, okay, I understand how tiers work, but how can I get the fastest rate of fire in the game, Tyler? Patience, Grasshopper, we're almost there. 
The game as is caps the tier delay at 5. This is why you can take 800 tiers up pills and you'll still always end up with a 5 for your tiers in your missing HUD. Tier delayed downs are what allow you to go below that 5. The fastest rate of fire you can get in Afterbirth Plus is 1. Or is it? Using another formula can show you the number of tiers per second that a character fires. The formula 30 over your tier delay plus 1 can be used to figure this out. The maximum number of tiers per second is 15 tiers per second. Or is it? Okay Tyler, stop saying or is it and cut to the chase here. Behold I present to you the way to get below 1 in Afterbirth Plus. You use mods. Sadly, there's no way to get below 1 as your total tier stat in Afterbirth Plus unless you're using mods. With some mods, however, you can get down to a negative 1 as your rate of fire. That's ridiculous and I'm going to show you how. First, bring yourself to the normal tier cap of 5. This can be done with a variety of tiers up such as the screw, torn photo, wire coat hanger, sad onion, whatever you choose. Next, you want to give yourself some tier delay items. One of my favorite is to use the cancer trinket, then give yourself mom's box. This will bring you to the Afterbirth Plus total tier stat of 1. This is the fastest rate of fire you can get in the game without any mods. But let's be honest, we go above and beyond here, how do we get to negative 1? Use the beer can mod, a mod by custom phase. Due to how this mod is coded, I actually don't know much about this so bear with me, using this item allows us to hit below the total tier stat of 1 and instead have negative 1, which makes you fire out actually a completely stupid amount of tiers. I would calculate how many tiers per second this is, but this actually just completely breaks the formula as you'd be dividing 30 by 0. 10 out of 10. I'm sure there's other mods that can bring you to negative 1, but it definitely looks cool here, and it's definitely just absolutely stupid. Try it out, and enjoy. The tier stat in Isaac is one of the mysteries of Isaac that many people just don't know much about. Hopefully this video taught you something new about the game that you didn't know. If you enjoyed this Isaac in-depth video, remember to slap that like, leave a comment, and subscribe. Let me know what other ideas you have for in-depth Isaac videos, and I'll see what I can do. Thanks so much for watching, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.